disclaimer, this is actually from a hair curler burn. That's real. <laughs> um, so yeah, just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> First, I'm going to prime my face with the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen um, in SPF 40. This has been the primer I've been using for a while because um, whoosh, uh, it just fell on my concealer. I'm going to still use it because you can't waste that. So I'm just going to prime my face. After I prime my face, I'm actually going to use a spot concealer from NYX and this is the HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in CW12 which is the green one and I'm just going to spot conceal the like red areas after I let my primer sit for a little bit after that I am going to take my beauty blender with some water and blend Okay, so after I blended that out I'm going to go in with my Revlon Photo Ready um color correcting pen and this is the peach shade because your girl got dark eye circles um from not having a really good sleeping schedule like i was super jet lag um when i came here and that was just not fun <laughs> because i would stay up or no i'd fall asleep at like 10 p.m and then i would um wake up at like 5 a.m. I mean, it's still a decent amount of sleep, but it was just like, what am I supposed to do at 5 a.m., you know? So I'm just gonna blend that in. Yay, so now that we have primed our face and put our color correctors on, I am going to go in with my um, Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation um, in the shade 108A Nude Beige. I actually don't know if this is the same shade as my old one. I personally think this is a little bit orange on me, but you know, we're going for that dewy look, so um, dewy summery look, so sure, I'll give myself a fake little tan on my just my face, I guess. So after I've put foundation on my face, I am gonna go in with the Kat Von D um, Lock It Concealer in the shade warm m17 and i'm just gonna do some spot concealing um i was gonna spritz this like the opposite direction so after that i'm just gonna blend um my concealer into my face next i'm gonna take my maybelline age rewind um concealer <laughs> i don't know why i'm struggling so hard with my words today and i'm just gonna highlight or i mean brighten my under eye my nose and my cupid's bow it actually looks so funny right now like <laughs> so i'm gonna blend that in with my beauty blender so now that i'm gonna blend it out i am actually gonna use the cody air spun um in translucent extra coverage um which I wanted to purchase the original one, but they didn't have it at Target and I wasn't about to bust my ass all the way over to Walgreens, even though it was across the street, um, to get it for like a more expensive price. So I was just like, you know, I'll go with it, even though it says that it might show up more yellowy. Um, but so far I've been having a problem with it. This is probably my third time using it because I just ran out of my Laura Mercier one. Can someone please tell me why cocaine for your face is so expensive? Can I use sugar as a setting powder? Probably not. That's not good for your face, but might make you look extra sweet. <laughs> oh, I hate myself. Okay. After I've powdered, I am gonna be doing my brows. Um, for my brows, I'm gonna be using um the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color medium brown because I dyed my hair. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm more blonde now, which is funny because I wanted to go ashy, but you know, baby steps, right? So I'm gonna um take my um Anastasia Beverly Hills pen, or not pen, brush um in the in size 12, and I'm just gonna fill in my brows real quick. So now that my eyebrows look about right, I'm going to conceal them with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand Sable with a little angled brush. Just to clean it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna set my eyebrows so they don't move. Now that my eyebrows are on and set, I am gonna go straight into the eyes. First, I am going to use the color Sweet Tart from the Tartlet in Bloom, <laughs> from the Tartlet in Bloom palette, which is kind of like a soft pink, 
And I'm just gonna put that all over my eyes. After you have that, um, I am going to go in with ColourPop's um, Super Shock Cheek. So this is actually a blush, but I'm just gonna use it for my eyes because I don't really have other pink eyeshadows that are like very pink. So <laughs> we're just gonna roll with it. And this one is called Between the Sheets and it's a really pretty kind of dark, dark pink color. I don't know, it's, it's really pretty though. Um, and it is like a cream shadow and I know you're, I don't think you're supposed to layer cream and powder, but I'm just gonna do it because it still looks good. So I'm just gonna put that, like, do you see how instantly pink my eyelids got? So I'm just gonna put that like more on the center of my eyeball, um, lid, eyelid. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just gonna do that, that kind of blushing like your eyes are blushing kind of look um so you know what's a better way to make your eyes blush than to actually use blush <laughs> i'm going to use that same brush that i used um for sweetheart which is just an elf brush um i bought it because pony said it was good um so i'm just gonna go back and just kind of add a little bit more sweetheart and blend that in a little bit so it's not just like you know so now that my eyes are all pink and hopefully it doesn't look like I have pink eye, um, I am gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm um, using my finger. I'm just gonna go into the color Vermeer, which is this really kind of um, champagne-y pink, um, like really light pink um, sparkle color. And I'm just gonna um, go into my um center of my lid and also like the inner third of my lid is that the right word you see that oh gosh that just hella popped okay and i'm just gonna go use it for my inner circle my inner corners as well oh my gosh i haven't spoken to a camera in so long and i feel like i just lost all vocabulary of every word done with my eyes for now um actually i'm gonna go back into my tartlet and bloom palette and use the color charmer for um to highlight my brow bone which is just like a white color i am going to um do the rest of my face so first i am going to use the hula bronzer to, i don't know why i took it apart but i'm gonna use the hula bronzer to bronze my face up so after I'm done with my bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my blush. So this is Milani's Romantic Rose number 01, and I'm gonna use this random blush brush. And um, I'm gonna go pretty heavy with the blush just because I want that kind of doll-like, um, I guess this is called drunk blush look. I mean, I guess you could also take like a few shots of alcohol if you got that Asian glow and achieve the same effect, but I'm just gonna stick with blush right now. Um, and I'm just gonna put that on my cheeks until I think it's like pink enough. And also on like the bridge of my nose so it kinda like is, you know, connected. Like, oh my gosh, my whole face is blushing. Kinda, wow, okay, that was a lot of blush. So I think that's enough of blush. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is go in with highlighter. I'm gonna be using the Balm Mary Luminizer highlighter. Um, and I'm just gonna highlight. So I added a bit more blush to my face so I could look a little more flush. So now I am going to tightline my upper lash line with Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner, gel liner um, in the shade Earthquake. So after I've tight lined my eye, I am going to attempt to put on some falsies for this look. And the lashes that I'm using are Kisses um, Shy and yeah, let's see if this will work out. Now that I've spent a good amount of time getting these lashes on because I don't really know how to put on eyelashes, I hope they look pretty decent, but I'm gonna go in with my Kill Bill um, felt pencil felt liner um, in brown and then back with my Marc Jacobs just to fill in any gaps to make my um, 
eyelashes look a little bit better um, or my lash line look a little bit better. Now that I've filled in my lash line a little bit more, I am going to move on to the lips and I'm going to be using ColourPop's Bumble and just kind of like dabbing it in the center like or just spreading it a little bit in the center. This way you get a pretty nice like pinky color. And then I am going to top it off with Fenty's um, Glow, the Fenty Glow um, Bomb Gloss, Bomb.com Gloss Bomb. There you go. And I'm just going to top coat it. And you can stop here. Or um, I'm actually going to add some freckles onto the pink parts of my face. So what I'm going to use for that is I'm going to go back to the Tartlet and Bloom palette. And I'm going to be using Jet Setter right here, which is this kind of like light brown color with a small angled brush. Um, this one's from Eco Tools as part of their travel pack. And I'm just going to like start... I'm like putting little freckles around my face. See, there's some right there. And honestly, like this is just gonna like have fun with it, you know? Like. So now that I have some freckles dotted on my face, I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and just whatever excess like foundation, concealer um, is on there, I'm just gonna like kind of dab it onto my face so it just kind of blends in a little bit more. Really tell unless you look pretty up close, but that's going to be the finished look um, for my face. And what I'm gonna do is um, spritz some MAC Fix to set my face. <laughs> oh, okay. And I'm actually gonna change my hair a little bit. So I already curled it, but um, this look is kind of inspired by Jenna. I'm gonna just take the few front bits right here, like this little bit and this little bit. So this is the final look and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's going to be a fun look to wear, especially during the springtime or whenever it's bright out. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Spat <laughs> onto the camera. My band-aid is starting to smell, so maybe it's a sign that I should change it. <laughs> oh, my heart is so good. I love you.